this is Thunder E from Border Work. We're taking a look at Sense uh, 5.0, HTC Sense 5. Um, first of all, a couple of things that are new here. We have, of course, the uh, the Blink feed where you can add um, from news updates. You can see Reuters there. We have stuff from Associated Press. We also have MTV. You can also add in your uh, Facebook and Twitter. So you can actually get a, a more customized feel of what you want to look in and uh, grab as information. And you can see you can scroll through. Well, the cool thing about it is when you scroll the way to the top, it has your um, uh, time as well as your um, weather. Sees? Now this is on Wi-Fi, so we can't get, it's not updating. But if you scroll over to the side and we go down to the notification bar, you have the power off, power save off mode right there. And then you can actually go into the settings and show you, just show you some of the settings here of the device. Uh, typical under 4.2. Go in here, software information. You can see that since 5.0 under 4.1.2. And to give me a couple of things, you can see Beats Audio, we can turn it on and off. We've got display gestures, stay awake, keep screen, auto rotate screen, notification flash, double click, HTC gestures, three finger output gestures, of course. And then uh, we can go see transfer content here for phone. We still have storage, you can see this is a 32 gigabyte version and to show you how your storage is displayed um, we also have a power solution here which shows how much power is we can turn the battery saver on which we did before we can turn on sleep mode we can turn on fast boot so the, the device can turn on faster We've got your date and time also which you can edit with time zone the format uh, see what else do we have here that we can actually play around with transfer content um, I guess this is select your previous device uh, HTC backup or other Android phones from 2.3 or later so or iPhone so you can see HTC's added something here to help you transfer content you can do restore your backup from iTunes which is pretty cool or transfer over Bluetooth uh, for other Android phones um, you can see the options there you can go through the Play Store through HTC Transfer Tool. You can actually use the QR code or you can use Wi-Fi. Um, and this is still preparing to transfer here. So it's got a couple of options, options for you to use. But, uh, let me just head back out of that. It was taking some time there. Get back into settings. And then from another HTC Android phone. So this, you have HTC Transfer Tool. You've got the QR code. You've got Wi-Fi and you've got Bluetooth connection to do transfers which is pretty nice so that's turning off now Let's see if we can just x out of that again and then go back up and restore it's personalized to the media output which you can select whatever way you're connected to output but i guess there's nothing here we can scan i guess searching for media output mobile data we can go in of customized data with roaming access points and things like that bluetooth wi-fi airplane mode more section here of course use your vpm nfc which of course this device has nfc personalize uh wallpaper customized ringtones notification alarm here we do have of course the boom speakers and then if we go in here uh this is the uh, camera you can see they said basically you can of course come and record You've got some of these filters up here. You can get some of the camera settings. You can have the main camera and the front camera. You can switch through. You've got some scene modes. Uh, you can see also we have HDR out, sweet panorama, crop video 1080p, uh, continuous shooting, shutter, auto focus, grid, so on and so forth. Uh, we also got Zoe, which I'm not exactly sure how we can access it. And that's Zoe right there. So that's the Zoe button, and we can capture. And it captures basically three seconds, which you can now edit and use. So basically, you can turn it on or turn it off. So the Zoe button is right there on top, and it shows you what you've recorded, and taken as photos as well as as well as uh, video. So you turn the Zoe button on, and then you can just tap. And that takes a three second clip for you, which you can now use to edit for video. So that's the camera there. Um, of course, we can't show you camera clips yet. Actually, maybe we can. So some sample photos of the camera by some peeps here. Looks pretty sharp. Um, again, this is, of course, just directly from the camera itself. I believe this is a Zoe clip. Maybe not. Oh, this is just a regular seven second clip here. And this is another short Zoe clip. 
so you can see that's pretty much uh, what you have with the uh, HTC uh, Sense 5.0. Um, of course, we get into more detail in our review, but wanted to show you guys quickly, and uh, hopefully enjoy that. Oh, it's also got an IR blaster. That's for me output, so you can actually control your TV and stuff like that right there. Enjoy.